So hi everyone. Um, I decided to make a little video just to uh, point out the good things about the garden in the backyard and uh, and the bad things and what works and what doesn't. So because I'm under this huge canopy of my maple tree, we don't get any sun, uh, we're in full shade and because we're watering hostas so much, um, we become prone to having slugs and, uh, and they're damaging a lot of the hostas. But luckily, um, I'd like to share with you uh, stuff that works and doesn't work even in the worst parts of the garden. So um, to begin with, we have um, Montana Aureo Marginata. Um, this time it had a little bit of root rot and um, so I dug it out, cleaned it out, cleaned out the soil. Uh, I know there is um, other expert hosta lovers who say nothing should be planted in its place, but I've been able to um, clean it out carefully with a little paring knife, leave a few roots and uh, successfully resuscitated the plant. And I'll show you later on which one I mean. Um, but I did the same treatment to this one, and so far it's still alive. Um, I put a lot of compost, and hopefully we'll see what it looks like next year. But these are predominantly um, areas that have a lot of damage, right? But I have to make sure that you guys know that this hostas, or the most of them, haven't been even touched by slugs. So we've got a uh, touch of class, did excellent. There's a few little marks maybe from weather, uh, fallen branches, whatever, uh, but it's strong, it's thick. And this is one of the things that I kind of lean on when I have to buy my next uh, hosta touch the leaf and see if it's thick or if it's thin in the texture and stick only to the thick ones. That's Crosa Regal, beautiful, it grew, it, uh, it multiplied very, very nicely. This is Tokudama flavor Cincinnatus. I'm trying to see if I can get a little seedling coming out of that seed pod. Um, it had a few burns from the sun and the drought because I stopped watering now. Um, but it did very well. Uh, beautiful one also. Um, I can't remember the name, but let me have it check. Um, World Cup, sorry. Uh, there it is. Did very well as well. I'm expecting for it to be nice and full. And uh, maybe even removing that pot with uh, wild geranium so I can give it more space. Here is Beyond Glory. A little bit of damage, but not too much. Uh, so I'll hit it hard later on in the fall when it's time for cleanup with um, the ammonia and water solution. And, uh, and then it'll go to sleep for the winter. Uh, Bressingham Blue did very, very well. Um, this is Anne, very unusual one. It had the same problem as the Montana, so we'll see how that one comes back next year. One that has to go is this one. It looks like lace. It's starting to bloom now, but that's um, Fire Island. Beautiful in the spring, yellow. Uh, it needs to live somewhere else, but not in, under this canopy. Uh, that is Independence. And did quite well, except for maybe a few bites, but it was late uh, before growing in the sun. So it came back and uh, in here, and we'll see how it fares for the rest of the next summer. Uh, Halcyon, beautiful, very resistant to slugs, and kept most of the blue. Um, so that's really nice. Um, of course, Blue Angel. Nothing touches Blue Angel. This is the, the king of the shade. Um, as you notice, I love hookeras as well. Uh, this one is uh, just starting to look better, but it's very late at the end of the season. That's um, Breath Lantern. And here's one that I bought this year. Um, what's it called? 
wild berry. Um, it hasn't done anything all summer long. It didn't grow anymore. Um, it's just exactly the same it was when I bought it. So I don't know if it's something to do the roots from the tree next to us or be right behind me that are kind of coming underneath the patio tiles, but we'll see what happens next year. This is a, a little keeper that I did from seedling. It's super thick. Uh, it only had damage in some of the leaves, but the rest look really, really nice. It doesn't have a name yet. We'll see how it'll do next year. Um, the rest I won't even mention because it's just uh, not the greatest. That's um, on stage so-so, very struggling under this canopy. It needs to go somewhere else. That used to be nice, but the slugs got to it and even the earwigs. Uh, that's all glory uh, needs another place um, but oddly enough this one uh, which is um, fragrant bouquet it looks healthy and uh, and it, I think it's it quite slug resistant even though the leaves are not that thick so um, it's a puzzle right uh, this one did really well and that's um, Yankee Blue, sorry, and uh, it filled up. And even though it has a little bit of damage, I think the damage is mostly from falling little branches from the tree and uh, uh, from the wind and all that. This is uh, designer jeans. I think it needs to go somewhere else where the slugs won't bother it or hit it harder with the ammonia solution. Um, and that, oh, plants that do well, of course, Bruneras. Bruneras are plants that are so loyal to your garden, they'll never fail. They'll look beautiful all season long. It doesn't matter what happens to them, heat, uh, rain, uh, it's just perfect and nothing touches it. Uh, Liberty. Liberty is another good performer. I had just yesterday, not yesterday, last week, a few little bites. Something came into my garden, big slug, who knows what, but it looked wonderful all summer long. Uh, same as um, Hearst Frost. Uh, this one's, um, this is um, Moonstruck. And uh, yeah, it looks like lace. Um, wonderful throughout the beginning of the year but at this time of the year it's just hit hard and I, it's just at a point where I don't pay attention to them as much anymore and you can't really fight nature for don't want to use a lot of pesticides I don't want to use a lot of uh, like slug bait and just let nature take its course um, the other ones are not as impressive um, I know this Brunera is really nice. Uh, it came back really nicely. It's um, Dolce Mel Melba Peach. Um, it performs well. Nothing touched it either. And that's um, a never fail one as well, Caramel. And uh, I kind of confuse them because those two are supposed to be Cassandra. They're very similar. It's very hard to tell them apart but uh, they do well and uh, I'm going to show you other bunches somewhere else that uh, just amazed me so I think in the future I'm just going to keep more of the ones that or the things that want to grow nicely in my kind of yard without having to do a lot of work um, and then here again maybe this area gets a little bit more sun but I've got um, Brad Stefan did very well. Wishing well at the back is not too bad. Um, drinking gourd right there, not too bad. Um, this is San Elmo's fire. It's okay. I can keep it. It, it can stay there. But even the blue mouse ears, look, there's quite a bit of lacy work in there too. Um, one that's really a magnet to slugs is uh, Golden Tiara. 
and uh, fine for the summer for the most part but at this point it's a little too too much um, majesty at the back Maui uh, buttercups not too bad this one got really lazy as well this is um, Huxaw and uh, Guardian Angel is not bad Queen of the Seas did really really well guacamole over there did very well this is American Halo very well um, I brought it back here a piece of um, afterglow I think it's gonna be wonderful here uh, it's a shady part together with my little drooping um, mulberry uh, but it'll be fine and then um, Atlantis on one side and blue Hawaii in the middle so it's, it's gonna be a good contrast this bunch did really really well and this is um, for all my memory <sighs> mystic star uh, almost grayish at the beginning of the season uh, but it's holding very well the color so it's nice and it's a keeper and uh, hardly any damage um, island breeze very very little damage so um, once we we fertilize not fertilize we um, spray with the ammonia uh, before the winter um, we'll take another look and see how they come back at the beginning of the season um, I mentioned at the beginning that I split uh, Pulse Glory this one had root rot the uh, growth was very very small I did the same thing I did to my Montana with um, the little knife cutting off all the damaged parts except the little roots and it came back it came back very very nicely um, what's another one that did very well here oh another Brunera that is absolutely beautiful but it takes a little longer to establish and to become bigger I think it's more sensitive um, that's Christmas tree very nice I did very well for most of the summer uh, Irish luck I think it's a little bit uh, the slugs are attracted to it um, this is uh, Guardian Angel, very well. Um, this is Empress Wool, also very nice. Big Daddy, very nice. Um, this one, this one is uh, Deja Blue. And I was waiting for the typical uh, lighter edge on the leaves. And I think some of it has it. Um, the In between the light green and the dark green, it's there. But it shows up only at the end of the season, um, unfortunately. But it's also very thin in texture, and uh, and the little bugs probably like it a lot. This one, totally in love with it, and this is satisfaction. Uh, very good. I haven't touched it in years. It's growing underneath my little Japanese maple. It has probably lots of roots tangled under it, but it's still fighting its way out and it's fighting with a lot of strength. Um, so yeah, another beautiful um, Hookeras. This is Palace Purple or Purple Pasa, still in bloom, um, doing very well. They just kind of do their thing and uh, without much care. Another beautiful ones is um, June Fever nothing touches it I love the shine on it I love the variegation and it's a strong performer and here is Pizzazz also very very nice but not as strong as this one was and of course Halcyon here again uh, doesn't fail and it has that little grayish coating on it that even though it's almost in full sun it's still coming back and here is Ivory Coast. I think it's related to Liberty and Majesty and all this uh, similar hostas because I'll, honestly, if it wasn't for the tag, I don't know if I'd be able to tell them apart. And, uh, and then of course, this is a, a slug magnet and this is Plantagenia. 
and I think if I was a bug I would eat it too uh, because of the smell of the blooms and I'm pretty sure it might, must taste very good um, anyway so what did well this year for the summer this is Hokera caramel it's gorgeous I love this there's only three plants in here um, which I did from the vision it's growing beautifully it did well sun or shade uh, I love the colors of the leaves in different uh, shades of from red to green to yellow and creamy uh, this is can can also doesn't fail at all and uh, and this one is um, silver scrolls beautiful thick mounds there's probably about six or seven of them in here and it never fails so stick to the stuff that works for you um, so maybe next time we'll have another tour and um, and we'll see oh I forgot this one this one is um, umber lady uh, it's slow but I love the contrast in colors um, so yeah next time uh, we'll have a look and see what we do for the winter all right bye bye everybody